Good morning. How are you? I've actually woken up really early this morning. This is something I've been planning for this week. And here we are at beautiful Ocken Common, just off the A3 between Cobham and Guildford in Surrey. The sun is just rising. We've got some beautiful mists. The trees are looking fabulous. And we're going to do a woodland photo shoot and just nice simple techniques and especially for anybody who's just starting their photography and wants to have that little inspiration to begin with but just look at this isn't it gorgeous the scene is beautiful the lighting is wonderful and it's just absolutely glorious to be here. The sky is wonderful. Look at that. It's really lovely. So welcome to a woodland early morning shoot and the rising sun. So let's go and have a walk around and enjoy the first light. And as we know with photography, light is everything so i made the effort to get up extra early this morning to bring you these stunning views of the british countryside at its best and of course we had the camera with us there's lots of dew drops on the plants but we have to make the most of those because that will disappear quickly when it warms up so let's have a walk around and see what we can photograph stunning little flowers I'm not sure what they are but they look like some kind of a fern plant but the other thing is the dew drops the water droplets on them will really make a nice photo so get down nice and low and take a photo <coughs> of these with the water droplets on I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it but I'll put up all the settings again at the end so Get my camera, get down low, and take the shot. So this is what we're looking at. See all those lovely little water droplets? Just move your camera around and see if you can find something that just catches the eye. A little bit pleasing. Don't want too much clutter in the background. I've got my 12 to 40 millimeter lens on and at the moment I'm at f18 so it's quite a small aperture but again when you're just beginning your photography don't worry a hundred percent all about detail to begin with just take some shots and see how they look see if they're sharp see if the colors nice and just get the feel of your subject without over complicating everything to begin with. The photography can be very complicated depending on subjects that you, you are doing. <coughs> but make it fun to start with and get the feel of what you want to take. Get the feel of the subjects and most of all enjoy it. Now, you see with the prime lens, the background is really blurred. And just by moving a little bit to the left or the right, you can get rid of some of those distractions. That's a more pleasing shot, rather than that. See that branch to the left hand side? That's a bit of a distraction. It's not so nice. Just move the camera around a little bit 
and the greens at the back are definitely more pleasing. So a prime lens is worth looking at, especially if you want to try flower photography. Pays to keep your eyes open and especially when you see the light coming into an object like this. These tall blades of grass and that gorgeous light just coming through them. A simple shot but very pleasing. So keep those eyes peeled. You never know what you'll find. fabulous morning it's going to be a very hot weekend but as I said before light plays a very important part of your photography and if you're just beginning your photography perhaps landscape might be something you want to explore then a suggestion at this time of year especially if you live in England during the summertime is get up sacrifice that few hours extra sleep come on out take some of the photos of the rising sun, the dew drops, the quietness, although we've got quite a busy road back here, the sound of the birds. Just go out for a few hours before everybody else comes out and take those shots. The lighting's lovely at the moment, but during this time of year, 11 o'clock up to about two, half past two, the lighting becomes very harsh and flat, and it's not, not good for landscape photography. Of course you can always go deeper into the woods where there are shadows and find some subjects to take. And the other time in the evening just before dusk so maybe an hour or so before dusk. It would help a great deal if you plan your shots beforehand. If you live somewhere local you know where the sun rises and sets. Perhaps plan a shoot and go out and take the shots and see how that goes. But as I say, if you're just beginning your photography, don't rush, take your time and find that subject that you want to explore and maybe expand and grow upon. Wherever you are, I wish you well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.